Greetings from Los Angeles. This is Zach Hample back at Dodger Stadium and I am so pumped for today because it's gonna be really fun and exciting. First of all, and okay, this is not exactly the exciting part, but the Diamondbacks are here, although Madison Bumgarner is pitching, so that's cool. I got tickets in the home run seats in left field. It is such a cool spot, all you can eat food, and yes, I am prepared, I am already very hungry, so get ready to see me stuffing my face. And of course, it's a great spot to catch baseball, so I'm hoping there's batting practice. Obviously, the weather is great, we're in SoCal, but these teams played a doubleheader yesterday, so I hope they're not too tired and lazy to skip it before the game. We will find out in just a moment. Let's get inside. was easy, not a whole lot of competition on that one. It was thrown by Steve Salati, the Dodgers bullpen catcher, and right now there's still not a whole lot going on, but I got inside three hours early today, and even when teams do take full BP, they don't usually start this early, so I'm hopeful for a big numbers day, we'll see. I was so optimistic early on. I thought the Dodgers might hit, but as it turned out, they did a whole lot of nothing. And so, yeah, look at this guy in the background just <laughs> pretending to do something. So the D-backs are out there. Hopefully they start hitting, but I just got to get my boys in the video. We have Devo right here. We got Moneyball Steve right there and Matty Wah, Matt Walker. Yeah, this, this guy. So, uh, yeah, a few D-backs are on the field, and this guy's shouting at me, what's up? Hey! So, hopefully the D-backs say, what's your prediction? Is it gonna happen? I think it's gonna happen. We made some calls because we knew you were here. Yeah, I think you called the Dodgers and said, don't hit. The pot of gold is out there. So far, my home run seats have not lived up to the hype, but the day is young. Right. Unlike you. <laughs>
Okay, so that was pretty good over in foul territory. Two toss-ups from the D-backs. The hat and the matching red shirt definitely helped. So they are just starting to hit right now. And I have four baseballs, so hopefully I can get a few more. As you can see, I'm walking behind center field, heading back to left. Let's go. Well, I have no idea how things completely fell apart for me today, but this has been extremely frustrating and disappointing. The Diamondbacks were not hitting great, and there was hardly any action in the walkway in left field. And as for the toss-ups, I guess they were being somewhat generous, but none of those balls were thrown to me despite wearing the D-backs hat and the red shirt. So yeah, three groups of D-backs hitters, zero baseballs for me. Thankfully, I got those four balls early on, but like I said, a whole lot of disappointment. And so right now, I'm actually below the bleachers in left field. And these home run seats, well, they were the no home run seats. Hopefully, things turn around during the game. And in fact, I'll just show you what it looks like when I walk back into the seats. But it was very, very crowded there. Excuse me, guys. Can I jump past you? Got the wristband right here. So up we go back into the seats. And that is the setup. So here I am, and hopefully, like I said, we got more action during the game. And I think we are going to order some food. There's our server right there. I would love a Caesar salad. Oh, you brought the family here. It's like in 13 for the Washington Senators. Twenty years later, Oral Hershiser broke Drysdale's record with 59 consecutive shots. The food has arrived, and I've gotten two things. We have the Caesar salad right here. I wish they had some tomatoes in there, but it still looks nice. And over here, we have a chicken cilantro sausage. So I'm going to dig right into this. I am so hungry. I have not had a meal today. I have had cashews and a protein bar in my hotel room. So may the feast begin. Designed to motivate youth to read and build a lifelong love of reading. Dodgers reading champions is open to students in first. Number 15. Bookie Betts. Adding second, the 
shortstop, number six, Trey Turner. It's time for Dodger Baseball. Your 2022 National League West Division Champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. This game has moved along to the third inning. D-backs are on top, one to nothing. And as I walk through this aisle here at the back of the home run seats, I just want you guys to appreciate all this space. Look at this, look at this. It's so quiet, I can keep going. This walkway just goes and goes. So I don't think I'm gonna be quite this far over as you can see. TV cameras right here and I could actually go down these stairs if I wanted to that's the setup and I'll just show you what it looks like here let's go hello hello hey, can I get a picture with you well in a second because I'm filming something All right. so yeah that's that's what it looks like here just yeah I love it now I just need someone to launch a baseball out this way I I really, really like my chances tonight, especially with all this room. The Dodgers, man. Not looking like a 100-win ball club tonight. I missed that baseball by inches. I felt something hit my glove and I thought it was the ball, but I think it was the other fan's glove above me with the ball in his glove. Mookie Betts, man, that one really stings. And look, I got a grand slam on this trip, so I can't feel too sorry for myself, but. This is gonna be my lasting memory of SoCal for 2022. And look, I'm, I'm happy for the other guy who caught it. Good for him, but I'm human. I'm out here trying to catch him. Yes, I've caught a lot, but this is what I do. And I love Mookie, and I wanted that baseball, so. So this dude, Miguel Vargas, zero career home runs. And by the way, bottom five right now, D-backs on top 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes. Yes, this is what I need. There is not a whole lot of ball game left. We're in the eighth inning. Arizona's on top six to one. And look where I am. This would be my view of the field. The wall basically in center field. And you can see this gap behind the wall. Um, that's a big area where people can play, but nobody's playing right now. And look at this. This is something new since the last time I was here. Look up, look up. Yeah, there's netting overhead in this spot, which makes sense. I mean, you want to protect people who are coming from under there and heading up to the seats. But this is right where I snagged the Will Smith home run last year. So if this netting had been there, I don't know if I would have gotten the ball. It would have landed there and maybe I could have knocked the ball off. You can see the netting ends right here by the staircase. So. Just uh, interesting how they did that. I heard that they added this netting for the home run derby just to prevent people from getting drilled because they knew there'd be a lot of home runs. And I heard that some dude actually jumped out of the bleachers onto the netting for a home run ball, crashed the whole thing down, landed on like a little portable bar that was set up here. So uh, by putting up netting, you create other problems, I guess, but just wanted to share that. And... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to my seat here. After struggling offensively for the first eight innings, the Dodgers finally got something going in the ninth. Trey Turner and Freddie Freeman had back-to-back -back hits, and just when things were looking really promising, the other Turner on the team, Justin, grounded into a double play to end the ball game. And listen, when I said things were a struggle, I mean it. The Dodgers only had one hit for the first eight innings. So all that talk outside about the D-backs are not exciting, but Madison Bumgarner's pitching. Well, Bumgarner came through and had a tremendous game. The only hit for the first eight innings was that home run by Mookie Betts. And let's just never talk about that ever again, okay? So, yeah, it was a struggle for the Dodgers. It was a struggle for me. Zero baseballs during batting practice. Whiffed on that home run somehow during the game, so that was frustrating. But I got those four toss-ups before BP even started. So I will take it. Been to all 30 stadiums this year. I have gotten at least one ball at all of them. And I also got a ball two days ago here at Dodger Stadium. So I'm pretty sure that this concludes my time in SoCal. I'm always thinking about, do I want to change a flight, extend my trip an extra day, rebook a hotel, but I really think I'm going home after this. I think, I think, I'm never sure, but I think the next video will be at Yankee Stadium. Might have another video from City Field coming up after that. Will I hit the road again this season? We will see. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.